All right, so I already reported on this before, but we're going to get right back into it. So John Morant is now facing a possible 50 game suspension over the gun incident on his Instagram live. Now, what prompted the further investigation was the fact that the gun um, is they're basically just trying to figure out how the hell the gun even got there. Obviously, he's in the middle of an NBA season. These guys are traveling on planes, buses, what have you. How did the gun get from point A to point B for him to have it in the first place? And the most logical thing is people are wondering if he brought the gun on the plane. Now, if he brought the gun on the plane, then obviously, guys, that's a breach of security. Because who's just to say, and I know you guys, you know, we just got to talk about all the possibilities because there are people that think like this. It's not me thinking like this. It's people that think like this. Is that what if John just decided he had a bad day? And he just wanted to start airing that, you know, airing the 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 plane out you know what i'm saying it's a security risk it is a definite issue out there when you have players who are able to sneak guns on a plane and nobody can identify how the gun got there in the first place obviously that's a question that needs an answer how did you get the gun past security how did you get the gun on the plane and so of course these guys fly chartered or i mean they fly private rather and so of course they may not have to go through the same security us regular folks have to go through when we go through on the airport but regardless of the fact is a gun made it on a plane. It would be no different than when Gilbert Arenas got a gun into his locker room. Everybody's questioning, wait, how did you even get the gun in the locker room in the first place? So John Morant, man, he's got some issues, man. I personally think that he can turn it around. I just think he's just going through, I'm not saying necessarily a phase, but when you come into a lot of money at a very young age, you got to do a lot of growing up in front of the world. And when you have a dad that's more focused on being your homeboy than your father, and you got a lot of yes men around you, you typically get into situations like this where you're just making a lot of dumb mistakes, dumb choices. I'm not going to, like Shaq said, he didn't make mistakes. He made choices. When you make a bunch of dumb choices, these are the things you got to deal with. And so I don't think this will define him. I definitely think that he is able to bounce back from this stuff. I definitely think that he can turn it around. But right now, bro, you are looking like the NBA's punching bag and the world's punching bag because for whatever reason, you want the world to just think that you're somebody that you are not. And I don't give a damn how many guns he raises in the air. I don't give a damn how many tattoos he puts out there. Whatever the case may be, this dude is not hood and he's not going to make anybody believe that he's hood. And so at this point, bro, enjoy your music, enjoy your rap music, hang out with your rappers, do all of that good stuff. But recognize where you are, bro. You're in the NBA making a whole lot of money on a very good Grizzlies team. Your window is not that large. We can all we all know as basketball fans how quickly a, a window can open and a window can close as as Lob City. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at the Celtics that Paul Pierce back in the day, man. Those guys made the one, got one finals, and they blew that team up. Nets, look how fast the Nets blew up. You know what I'm saying? Miami won three, won two or three, blew that whole team up. You know what I'm saying? When you have a team that's in contention, you need to be focusing on getting in that window and making sure that you make every opportunity work within that window. And right now, you are absolutely blowing it. And if your team has to go 50 games without you, it's over. It's literally over.